Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we do crazy things. We don't do what everybody else is doing, like the people have been doing the last hundreds or thousands of years. Uh, let's call it we are creative. I don't know if uh, it's the right word, but uh, crazy creative. But we love it. We had five millimeters of rain, a fifth of an inch, which is nothing really, but uh, at least might be the first announcing the first announcing the big rain being the first and uh, I hope we will get more it looks like there is more forecasted for the rest of the week here we have an occasional creek and on occasion it can be very unpolite rough torrents it just fills this whole area with water and uh, we have some gabions here and it's all bent and twisted and then we had a earthen wall here that got washed away twice and now I am playing with the idea what to do with the next earthen wall that I have placed here um, at it was in springtime where there was light rain first rain of the year is usually big rain there's another earthen wall of some form of embankment pond here so the water will come down there and I hope it can flood that way when I made this it was more for, for easy access for the excavator and now I am attached to it and I don't want to let it go so I thought what can I do I had some cinder blocks left so I stacked them here not close to each other uh, some space in between and then I have a cable running through them and then I have some pegs and then I have some attachments and I want this to be some form of what? Some form of moving weir that prevents the erosion of the soil at the end of this structure. This is a leaky weir, it's not leaking anymore because I filled it up with earth on this side. I don't want this to be washed away so let me have this moving part cinder block leaky weir e erosion prevention uh, creativity madness structure I need a name for this Especially if it works, then I can become an expert in this. It's a time I get expert in something. I must be famous for something one day. Maybe just my uh, patience, hard-headedness. I will tie this. I might bring more cinder blocks, but this is somehow a form of... Uh, 
when the flow is too big on that side it can actually escape on this side uh, it's more uh, an exit so what do I hope to uh, achieve it's the same as a doctor putting a plaster on the chest of a heart attack patient so I just live in the hope that maybe it can work I have many doubts about this first of all my pegs might be ripped out of the earth when the earth is wet and also the cable might snap and it might have no effect on what I want to achieve here whatsoever but it's worthwhile toying with this normal rain will actually fill up this whole area and then drain through this whole area over here which is cool but uh, if it's flooding this torrent in the middle of this occasional creek the brunt will hit here I will put a few stones in there the same as there the dogs created some cool spot for themselves when it was hot actually when it's hot it's nicer to have these dogs they are more passive walking from tree to tree now it's cooler they have so much energy they drive me crazy I also have these poles here I can stick them inside these synth cinder blocks but perhaps it will defeat what I'm trying to achieve with some moving parts I might put two cables through there anyway I'm looking forward to see what this can do if this soil dam wall pond wall stays uh, in this here I will be super delighted if it goes it's also okay another big project for next year then to have a structure that lasts perhaps with some pipes or tubes or I don't know I can also enlarge this area here it's actually quite rocky as if the river basin was here before lots of roundish rocks let the water come we are ready for the experiment the experience for the learning life is exciting till next time goodbye